Don't burn your hand on. <laughs> you know how to crack an egg? There you go. Whoa! 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 It's cooking. The sun is beating down on you. Breathing in the dense hot air is getting harder and harder. Sweat is pouring down your face. You begin to feel weak. If you don't cool yourself down fast, you could die. This is how to survive a heat wave. Heat waves are periods of extremely hot weather. They occur when high pressure in the atmosphere forces heat down. A heat wave can last anywhere from two days to a few weeks, but they can have catastrophic effects on people and communities. The World Health Organization considers them to be the most dangerous of natural hazards. The number of annual heat waves has increased dramatically, up from an average of two per year in the 1960s to six per year over the last decade. Heat waves can be deadly. In India, they've killed about 17,000 people in the last 50 years. How can extreme heat damage your brain? What's the most effective way to cool down fast? And could spices actually save your life? It's raining my teeth, oh my god. <laughs> Step one, watch your core temperature. One of the greatest health risks from a heat wave is heat exhaustion. This occurs when your body's core temperature goes up past 37 degrees Celsius. If left untreated, heat exhaustion can progress to heat stroke, which can damage your brain and internal organs. Heat stroke can be fatal and is considered a medical emergency. So if it gets to that point, call the paramedics. If heat exhaustion does strike, you may feel a headache, nausea, or weakness. You could also begin to sweat more heavily than normal. To avoid heat-related health risks, have a plan to keep your body cool. If possible, avoid direct sun and opt out of strenuous activity. These can both drive up your body temperature. Stay hydrated and wear lightweight and light-colored clothing. Drinking ice water can be effective in releasing warmth from your body, but dousing or spraying yourself with cold water is even better. But in an emergency, some people should follow the advice of better out than in. Use ice packs or an ice bath to bring your temperature down fast, though this isn't advised for the elderly or children. For seniors, jumping in a freezing bath or applying a cold compress can result in constricted blood vessels and a reduction in blood flow as their core temperature drops. All of this increases the risk of cardiac arrest or a stroke. For kids, it can trigger a sudden spike in their heart rate as their body is flooded with adrenaline. Step 2. Chill at home. If you're able to stay home, there are ways to keep your house brisk even without an air conditioner. Avoid using incandescent lighting, which can raise the temperature. Use blackout curtains to block the sunlight. You can also make a makeshift air conditioner using a box, fan, and a cooler full of ice. Remember that hot air rises, so try to hang out in your basement or lower floors. When the temperature drops at night, open the doors and windows to let the hot air out and the cool air in. And don't turn on the oven. Maybe a salad for dinner? Step 3. Stay off the streets. If you live in a city, the dangers of extreme heat are amplified thanks to a phenomenon called the urban heat island. And no, it's not a new reality dating show. UHI is caused by sunlight being absorbed by dark roads and roof surfaces. This raises the overall temperature of the area. Cities also tend to be mostly composed of concrete, glass, and steel, and benefit less from a process called transpiration. Transpiration is when trees, grass, and other plant life cool and moisten the air by pulling water from the ground and releasing it as vapor. Cars are also a source of dangerous heat amplification, especially in cities. Car exhaust raises temperatures and contributes to smog, which can further trap the hot air that pushes heat down. And is there anything worse than being inside a car on a hot day? If you find yourself on foot, make sure to bring something to protect you from the sun, such as a brimmed hat or umbrella. Step 4. Spice up your life. Did you know that some spices can actually have a cooling effect on the body? Fennel and cumin can both help you cool off, as well as juices like watermelon and lemon squash. In India, the lassi, made from yogurt, salt, and spices, is a popular drink that provides relief to many during the country's frequent heat events. 
An added bonus is it's also pretty tasty. Step 5. Clean Living While summer may be a time for fun, avoid having too much fun. Alcohol and caffeinated drinks are diuretics, which can cause you to lose even more water. Indulging in cocaine and methamphetamines are also high-risk activities during heat waves, but aren't they always? Certain beta blocker medications, like what you might take for high blood pressure or a heart condition, can increase the risk of heat stroke. Make sure to consult with your doctor or pharmacist during extreme weather if you're not sure how anything you might be on can be affected by a jump in temperature. As the climate continues to change, heat waves are likely to further increase. So stay cool and pay attention to the warning signs. Heat may be dangerous, but extreme cold is too. And just how quickly does frostbite set in? Find out here on How to Survive.